Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to show you how to use pointers in the Go language. Pointer, this is the kind of variable which store not the value itself, but a memory address where this value is located. And let's start by example. So I can define two variables, a type integer equal to 30 and b also integer which will be equal to a. So in this case, once I made this assignment, a uh, value of a was copied to the variable b and if I print them they will be the same and if I will try to change the value of the b let's add 99 and then I can print this again. Um, as you may see here I had 30 30 and after I change b a is still 30 but 9 uh, b changed to the 99. This is because uh, variable was copied and it's referenced in different uh, memory addresses. So if I want to not copy but assign the same variable, same memory address to the another variable, I need to change this code a bit. So first what I need to do is to add star here and my type will be, uh, sorry not the star but asterisk and this will be pointer to the integer. And now I cannot use the simply a here because I'm getting the error. What I need to add, this symbol here. And this symbol means that I'm specifying here not the value of a, but memory address of a. Uh, but I still cannot run the code, I got the error, uh, because I cannot uh, assign to the b, because b is not the integer anymore, but this is pointer, so I cannot assign value like that. I need to use a thing called the referencing. So I need to add star here, and by adding star, I'm taking the value from this memory address. Now can I, I can run the code, and I got 30, a was 30, then a was changed to the 99, even if we didn't change the a, but we changed the b. But as for b, I'm getting this value. This is the memory address. So how can I get the value? Again, by adding star here. So once I added star, I can run the code and I got 30, 30 and then it was changed to the 99, 99. Also, I can check if they reference in the same memory address by for, for example, for b, I don't need anything because this is already pointer. For a, I need to add and and I can run, and as you may see, both of them are referencing the same memory address. So, and final thing which I want to show you about pointers, this is the default value, so I can clean up all of this code. So usually when you are creating like type integer, let's create variable type a, which will be integer, and I can print. And what I should get the null value for current type. And for integer, this will be the zero. But if I'm using the pointer, uh, null value always will be nil. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any new video. Have a nice day.